Hey guys, welcome back. I just got home from work. Haven't taken my face makeup off yet. Oh, see, we're still organizing. Can't look here. So, we are going gluten free. We thought about it for a long time. There's so many healthy benefit opportunities with that. Um, there, after COVID and being pregnant, I started getting, you know, just going back to work, getting upset stomachs and just, you know, going back to that old pattern. And a lot of the cardiologists and different people, if you have any residual effects, from COVID and you know if you've watched our video you saw where our entire family had COVID right before I got pregnant with Benjamin so we've still at different times felt off you know uh, like I've gotten palpitations and felt lightheaded and just went to a cardiologist I'm wearing a Holter monitor which I have not put on and it is beeping at me, but I took a shower, so I'm supposed to do that. Anyways, <clears throat> it, can, it can be related to pregnancy and hormones and all of... Oh, it's going to beep now. Um, all of that, but a lot of it is a vitamin regimen, and because I am in an ER, I am on a strict vitamin regimen. I put the kids on one. Um, okay, so yes, I'm wiring this for two weeks just to make sure that I don't have any residual but in the same time we're on multivitamin and D and zinc and by D and zinc and vitamin C and I take fish oil and flaxseed and stuff like that but you can talk to your doctor about that um, everybody has their comfort level and what they feel comfortable combating symptoms or just anything like how you want to handle COVID like do you that's what I say do you you want to get the shot don't get the shot you have to do what's best for your family so we are I, yes I am a nurse I believe in immunizations um, I don't want to be a guinea pig though so um, you know there's that so I mean you can get shots but not get COVID and the COVID vaccine and you know I feel like that's okay whatever you need to do for your family and protect your family you know at the end of our life we all answer to somebody or something or whatever your religious or non-religious preference is so I don't want to judge anybody else and I just don't want to be judged it's a judge free zone so Anyways, besides the vitamins, we are also going gluten-free. There's a lot of health and weight and just glycemic and just everything balance. Um, and like I said, inflammatory changes and stuff that can come from just changing pastas and rice. Now, there are hidden gluten in things like soy sauce. You have to get make sure you get gluten-free of that or uh, substitute it for amino acids, which are like a soy sauce derivative. So there's many, many, many products on the market. You do not have to be intimidated by this. Some people are there like, ew, don't do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. So, for our family, we are going to make this lifestyle change. It's not something we thought about lightly, and I've talked about it going keto. Um, this naturally gives you a lower carb um, because it's more like almond flour, coconut flour, as opposed to wheat. So you already naturally lower your carbs with that. And, yeah. So, some things I've gotten offline. I have found some things... I've already bought in bulk and some things I haven't I like to buy in bulk Costco has some things and it's been great other things mm, not so much I like to buy in bulk however I'm not gonna buy buy blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to buy in bulk what I don't haven't tried so you saw in my Costco video if you saw that haul I bought those almond flour crackers they taste like wheat thins. Oh, couldn't remember in the video what they taste like. They taste like wheat thins. Love them. They had a sample. I bought a box. Probably should have bought two boxes. So when we do cheese balls or charcuterie boards and stuff, those will be fantastic. So it's finding those little things that you like. Now, if I found those in bigger bulk at a better price than at Costco and I found them online, 
I would switch. A lot of times online, if you find something that you're gonna use regularly, you can subscribe and save, which I probably will do with some of this, and I'll tell you why. Um, but yeah, so this is our journey. Don't have to agree with it, but this is what we're doing. So if you like this video, and you are interested in following our journey with that, subscribe and save. I finally feel like I'm getting back to the videos. Now if I could just get my husband to edit them. That's the kicker. So let me show you what we got. So this is, look, he's helping me lay some stuff out. We, yes, we are in our room because the kids are, the babies are squealing. So first I'm going to show you stuff I got online. So I bought, this is actually my second box of this. We, um, these are, I bought a case of them. That's King Arthur, which I liked their regular flour anyway. Now they have pancake mix, they have confetti pancakes, they have all kinds of pancakes. Buttermilk, um, we tried these. These were great. I loved them, the kids loved them. I had bought a box and because my mom and my sisters are gluten free as well, they're doing gluten free. And my mom's been gluten free for years. Um, we had bought a case of this because there was enough of us that wanted to try it. So um, I gave two boxes away, did four boxes of pancakes, and within what, babe, four days, they were gone. So pancake mix. When I make sausage and cheese balls um, that you used to make with Bisquick, I hate Bisquick gluten free. If you like it, great. I do not. I feel like it's very chalky feeling in my mouth. Don't like it. But we love these. So I will make these, use that substitute for Bisquick. But also, I can bulk cook this. Um, this has, I just have to add eggs and but some butter or oil derivative and milk in each one of these. But last time I made all four boxes. So there will come a time when I'll buy this in bulk. And if I decide, hey, let's bulk cook pancakes or waffles, I'll cook all of this and then just order another case so I have it the next time I have it. This might end up being something, for instance, I subscribe and save to. If I made six boxes and I ordered it every two months, well, that would be fine. I could put some in the freezer and I could also have some um, when I want to do some other kind of cooking with it. I did get some graham crackers. Now, these are twofold with the graham crackers. And when you're stocking up, it's good to say, what can I... Oh, let me shut the door. I'm going to get loud. It's raining. Ooh, don't look at my messy house. So with this, it's kind of like, what all can I do with that? Well, kids can eat it with peanut butter or um, just eat it plain with milk. But I also can make graham cracker crust myself with these if I wanted to do key lime pie or I wanted to do a chocolate pie this way I'm still eating gluten free but I don't I can still have my regular desserts because I'm not doing sugar free even though we are reducing our sugars but this has multiple benefits another thing we wanted to try is duck when I want something sweet like a cupcake or something and not have something so this isn't going to be eaten all the time but again these are a couple of things that we wanted to try <clears throat> these are not king arthur but they looked interesting so we got these coffee cake or cinnamon coffee cake muffin in a mugs and we got brownie i figured i did get two boxes if you're like oh we we're just trying it well remember we're also a family of six and that would eat dessert plus well, actually seven because that two-year-old is not going to be undone. He would eat one as well. So that's almost two boxes when we want just each to try it. So we will try these as well. And then again, if I like these, I might buy a case of the brownie or we might like the brownie and not the cinnamon coffee cake or, or vice versa. I don't want to buy a flavor and then hate it. I've done that with protein powder before and hated it. So then baking wise, um, again, we got corn muffin mix. Yes, I know you can just buy, um, you can just buy the, what's it called, um, white corn meal, but sometimes you just like convenience. So this was a, we bought two boxes of that. Um, again, pie crust if we want pies, like pumpkin pie or something like that. Um, we wanted to try some different things with that, so I got two. 
And I do buy two because I feel like it's really easy when you're learning how to work with a new product. I always make it how they say it the first time and then the next time maybe a little bit less water or a little more water or whatever so you get the feel of it because it all works differently. Three chocolate cakes. So this too is, okay, we have a birthday or something like that. I can make cupcakes or, or do whatever. <clears throat> So that was all online, and there's more. Um, this is a gluten-free flour. Now I have some gluten-free flour that I bought at Publix. I just don't like the price. This is a, when you hear, a lot of people hear gluten-free, they're like, oh, I have to buy xanthan gum and this and that, and blends work better than straight. Well, of course, but there's also these ready-to-made one-to-one substitutes. So if I go to bake a cake from scratch or make muffins or I want to make pancakes or anything that uses flour I want to make a roux for a macaroni and cheese I would substitute this flour for that um, I always start a little bit less um, but it's a one-to-one -one substitute so I got two of these from when I want to do baking and then my favorite dessert that I'm learning to do and I'm gonna learn with you is macaroons so I got, this was, I knew, I already know I'm going to want more than that. Um, so I got a box or a case of Red Mill. This is also um, a very good product. Um, super fine almond flour. And that is specifically to make, I got a cookbook. It has like three different, 300 different shells. Maybe it's 200 shells and 100 fillings. I don't know. Um, and I bought all this stuff and I was waiting on this to make my macarons and that was before gluten-free so that was just an added benefit that they're gluten-free and then so this was all from here over this was all online okay my husband already learning at our local store now this is a different thing pasta I'm so picky on he this was like clearanced out we will find what pasta we like but he got two two of these today when he went to just pick up like milk and coffee creamer um, he always checks the sale area he loves that um, and I let him um, but we're going to see how this cooks up I will make a lasagna and um, yeah maybe two and we'll, we'll try that and if we like this pasta maybe I bulk order it online or if we don't then I'll try another one because they're all slightly different and then just for some quick go to things my mom has had these before these are frozen and you just warm them they're glazed donuts and chocolate donuts so we got some of these just as treats or like if I'm making a breakfast or something sometimes we just want to add this to breakfast or or whatever so it'll be there's I don't even know how many in here one donut there's six per container so again that would be two one and a half for us you know this would be three little breakfast treats so just something fun and then Publix which is our store a lot of them a lot of the stores if you tell them hey I'm gluten free and I want to try this product they'll stock that product they might not continually carry it but they'll carry it you know they'll carry it for a short amount of time so these nature's path had ready-made waffles because I think the biggest thing with failing at something is the convenience we are a convenient society where we want things and we want it now I'm just as as um, guilty as that so don't have breakfast main this is wild berry dark chocolate chip and they had pumpkin spice so I figured the kids would get a kick out of these try those the babies can eat those and then in the morning I just like sausage like a sausage biscuit I'll eat an English muffin so I, again I don't know what brand we're gonna like we got Ezekiel sprouted grain are these gluten free my mother told me they were yeah they have a little bit of wheat in them so these won't stay forever my bad English muffin um, flourless oh there's flourless sprouted grain okay so they are so this is a just like a regular wheat type one this is cinnamon raisin and then this is another brand of just plain English muffins that we will try and then they have the bagels these are everything bagels I got thought more of my husband for this he loves them and would put sausage 
maybe fry an egg, make a sandwich out of it with these. So I thought when I do breakfast sandwiches, I'm going to find out which one I like and then I'm going to make my breakfast sandwich. So this is beginning our gluten-free. I did show you the other things that we're doing for health and how we like different things. We are going to stay on this path for a while and just see where it takes us. It'll be interesting when I do my freezer cooking and my stock up. Do you see that gray right there? Ooh. So we will, it will be more challenging in some ways, but I think the benefits will outweigh the challenges. And it's not with everything. It's not with rice. It's not with potatoes and stuff. It really comes down to those crackers, potato, or crackers, pasta, bread. Um, so I bought a couple of different recipe books, cookbooks, and there's some super simple um, bread recipes and biscuit recipes, 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 recipes that I'm going to try and just kind of, again, play it by ear, see what we like, see what we don't like. Even if we weren't gluten free, there's recipes that you enjoy and recipes that you don't. You just got to be diligent in finding those. So that is our gluten free haul and kind of where we're starting at and we'll see where it takes us. So until we see you again, have a great day. Mm -hmm.